time. Today we're going to spend some time in the world of weird and wacky instruments. Now, have you ever heard of weird and wacky instruments? Maybe an instrument that was unusual? Well, I thought about it and I have plenty to show you today. So, come on! Let's go have some fun! I went out looking for some instruments in my swamp and I found these gems. They are wooden frogs. This is the big daddy frog. And if you see, he's got spikes on his back that make him ribbit. Listen to this. Nice. We also have the mama frog. She's just a little bit smaller. Has a little bit higher sound. I also found the big brother frog. And we found the little baby sister frog. Pretty cool. You know, buckaroo, sometimes we need an instrument that's going to tell us that the train is coming. The train is coming. So we use a train whistle. This little wooden whistle sounds like I should be on a boat somewhere. Sometimes what you really just need is a good old slide whistle. Sometimes my instruments come from the Orient or somewhere over in Asia. These little finger symbols came from China. Aren't they cute? They're so little. I also have a drum that I got from China. This little drum has two beads that hit the front and the back of the drum when you put them together. Ah, the Samurais are ready to assemble. I wasn't ready for this much action today. I thought this video would go slower. Yeah, so, uh, I got this instrument right here, yeah. And, uh, some people think that, uh, you can make pastas out of it. But, uh, that's not what it's for, you know? You don't gotta worry about it. This is a ratchet, yeah. I got my ratchet right here. And this little baby is for when you want to make it sound like a, you know, a soldier, a soldier maybe, a toy soldier cranking up, is what it sounds like. It's an awful sound, but that's what it is. It's a ratchet. This beautiful instrument is called a psaltery. And this instrument dates back, way back to ancient Greece. It can be played in two different ways. You can use your fingers to pluck it, or you can use a bow to pull across the strings. You would hold it with your hand and pluck the strings. That is a really weird instrument. Matey. These are my goat toenails. If you mess with me, I'm going to rattle them and you'll see how terrifying they are. Aye. This little guy will call birds all over my yard. I hope they come and maybe land on my head. Wow.
Now look here, people. We gotta get serious about this. This is ridiculous. These next instruments look like just wooden sticks, but they're an Irish instrument called bones. That's right. Actually, long time ago, they used to use real bones from animals and use them to make sound. These are often used in small Irish bands to make a sort of percussive sound. Sometimes we just need a good old sound effect. This would be the duck call. <laughs> this instrument is often used in South America for all kinds of Latin type music. And it's called a huiro. It actually starts with the letter G. I know, it has all these little ribs on it so you take your mallet and you rub it and you tap it. Sometimes we find stuff outside and in nature that can make a really good instrument. These are just nutshells that we found and we were able to attach and put on a stick and they sound like water. There must be a stream nearby. Maybe Sacagawea is nearby. In Russia, we have big storms that sometimes come through with big thunder. So we have an instrument to make the thunder. It is called thunder tube. Seriously. Seriously, there's more instruments to look at. Can't we go take a nap or something? So my girlfriend, she went to Africa and she said, what do you want me to bring you back from Africa? And I said, how about a thumb piano? And she said, what's a thumb piano? And I said, it's this. So she went and she went even on safari and she brought me back a thumb piano. It's actually made of a coconut. So this thumb piano, I hold in my hands and I take my thumbs and I just pluck them just like this. Isn't that swell? She also brought me another instrument that I didn't even ask for and it was this. It looks like fun balloons, doesn't it? Like we're having a party or something. So these are shakers. So we shake them. Shake them. G'day mate, today we're gonna talk about the giraffes that we see out there on the savannah. And this little, this little prize is a giraffe drum. It's not actually made from that animal, but it does have animal skin and it's woven together to make both sides. Isn't that cool? I hope you have fun down under. What? What? It's not Christmas time yet? Too early? Okay. This little instrument is called a mouth harp or a jaw harp. And it's got a really bizarre sound to it. That's a little backwoods for me. This little wood block looks like it has 
really neat Egyptian carvings on it. And it's got a great sound that could be like a woodpecker. Sounds just like it. Wait, stop! Sometimes we need a police whistle. I don't know whoever came up with this, but they must have been cuckoo. This is a cuckoo whistle. See? Cuckoo. This instrument is called the lap dulcimer. A long time ago, they found this instrument very popular in the Appalachian area and they think that it came over with people from the other countries. And this little instrument is a really neat four string zither. So it's part of the string family. And what's neat is it has one note that is the drone and all the other three strings play the same note. So you push down the first two strings and the other ones always stay the same. This usually rests on a table or your lap so that you have an easier time playing it. The next instrument I have are these spoons. You can't eat lunch with them, but they're the spoons. So I put my leg up here and I can tap, tap, tap them, or I can use my hand to make even more sound. Pretty cool, huh? This drum is called the djembe. What letter do you think that starts with? A J? No. A G? No. It starts with a D. D J E M B E. And this drum is a drum that is often found in Africa. It's got a head, just a single head, and the bottom is open. And often when people make these, they take a huge trunk of a tree and they hollow it out by hand and then they get animal skin and cover it up. This particular djembe has some markings on it which help me to play it. Whenever I play the djembe, I have to make sure it's not flat on the ground because we want the bottom to be able to breathe. So I hold it between my legs and I can hit three different places to get three different sounds. We can have the bass sound in the middle we can back up our hands to hit one of these neat designs to have a middle sound. And we can back up our fingers even more to get the highest sound on the edge, the rim of the drum. Like, um, how many more instruments do you think there are? Because I need to go get my hair done. Do you think there's many more, Monkey? This instrument is called a rain stick, and it's specifically just to make the sound of rain. It's actually a dried arm of a cactus. The needles are inside of it, and the particles that trickle down past it bump into all those needles, and they make this sound. Good thing I have my umbrella! Yeah, you're, you're talking about big brass coming in. Big brass? I gotta be ready for big brass. Okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, we got this. We could be ready for big brass, yeah. Okay. My friend Angie is gonna show you this instrument. This is called a double-belled euphonium. Normal euphoniums have just one bell at the top. This one has that, plus a second one here that gives a little different color. Press 
a valve and the sound comes out of the smaller bell, sounds a little more direct. This instrument was built in 1906 and it's the kind of instrument that all the euphonium players played from around 1890 to about 1950. And they did cool things with it like this. <laughs> What? What? We gotta go to a remote location for this next instrument? Yeah, I got it! Roger! Over and out! This is Morgan, and she has an electric cello. So this is... These are the kind of the control panel and it's battery operated and hooked up into a base amp. And there's no better way to do that than with our crystal singing bowl. This singing bowl hums. Wait till you hear it. wasn't it? Well, I don't know about you, but I had a great time finding out about all those very strange instruments. So before we go today, I wanted there to be something that you could create that would be a weird and wacky instrument with just stuff maybe you have around the house. So we are going to make an instrument that my friend Dylan likes to call bottled water. He got this instrument while he was in Brazil and there was a neat guy who made it and the way he made it was out of lids from plastic bottles. I think we've all had a beverage of some sort out of a plastic bottle and I think it's great to recycle the bottles but there's a, a different way you could do some recycling and that's with these caps. So, you might want to have a parent handy because we're going to use a sharp nail. So what we do is, first we take the cap and we take the nail and we hammer the nail into it and we pull it back out so there's a little hole in the cap. Then what we're going to do is take some fishing line and we're going to tie a string, a fishing line, onto the cap. Then when we get all our caps all set up with the fishing line on each one of them, we're going to take a needle and, and uh, our fishing line, we're going to actually thread the fishing line through the needle and we're going to use our paracord. This is just some, some nylon cord and what we're going to do is we're going to tie each of those lids onto three strands of paracord. Now, when we get done, this is what it'll look like. Yes, I collected all of these caps. Yes, my children drank all of this drink. So I have caps of all different sizes. And you can see that there are three separate strands of caps on it. And when we wiggle this, it sounds like running water.
that's pretty cool, isn't it? So now you have another way to recycle your bottles and have a great new instrument. Isn't that exciting? I thought so too. Once again, it's time for Miss Jody's Mad Jam Song Selection. DJ Jody here to tell you about three things I want you to watch. Now, because we're in the video of weird and wacky instruments, I've got some weird and wacky things for you to watch today. The first one I want you to look up is called the Chicken Song, and it's by Jay Gecko. That is one crazy foul. The next thing I want you to listen to is the Crab Rave. Yeah, it's a bunch of crabs dancing on the beach. And it's by Noise Storm. The last one I want you to look at is Wonky Donkey. That is a crazy one. It's got a wonky donkey in it. And it's by Derek Thunder. You go off and have some weird and wacky wonderful time with those cool videos. <laughs> 